Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, CCX here. Welcome back to more Garandia. In the last episode, we entered Gumbo Village, got some very wonderful nice hospitality, and then we found out that we were going to be um, sacrificed to the slaughter, because that's always lovely, right? Uh, uh, you know, the PCA moment of my um, renditions are always fantastic. And this is actually a wonderful mountain that actually has actual music. What the hell is that? I'm running away. Because we actually won't meet Sue and... Funny enough, you can... Ah, there's a mana here. Oh, hello. Got some, some new enemies. Welcome to the... Wait a minute. Is that a mana egg? Hot dogs! Yeah, I kid you not. They really call hot dogs. What you guys thought? Luckily enough, though, we did manage to learn Crackle. So, the dragon that we're going to be facing... Can you guys guess what he's weak to? Yeah, he's weak to wind. Did it make any sense to you guys? Like, why do you guys think he's weak to wind? Like, come on. And I love how Snooze does nothing anymore. Why do I even have that move? Don't bother using Burn Flame. It won't heal them, but it won't work either. So, <laughs> yeah. Now, the problem with um, fighting, like, the hot dogs or running into them in terms of encounters it's actually a little bit difficult to try to see if they're, you know, aggro. So, there's that. It's not too much of a problem, but it, it can be a little bit of an issue trying to see if they're going to target us when they're kind of flaming young. Love me that word. But anyways, um, yeah, be sure to have Crackle on standby. It's a good thing that Sue has the hail bow, because you're not going to be fight. I'm just going to tell you this now. You are got to I'm not fighting those damn monsters by yourself. That'd be really dumb. Yeah, there's a mana egg here. Huh. That's very weird. My guy did not tell me that there was a mana egg here. Shame on them. Uh, yeah, it just shows Petrified Forest, which is an area that's in the second disc. Eh, whatever. Yeah, maybe, um... I guess the guide, the person who made this guide didn't really find the man egg in the um, volcano area. Even though, to be honest, it's not really that hard to avoid. I mean, it's, like, pretty much right there, but you know what I mean. It, 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 sometimes when you're, like, following a guide, you're expecting it to be 100%. But not all guides are 100%. You, know, you guys already know that already. Oh, yeah, I'm right. It really does, um... It really does reset a bunch of times every time you go through a random encounter. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> That's really annoying. Hey. We got ourselves a new item. We got ourselves a rain staff, which ends up initiating snooze. That's great in all things considering, but the fact is, is that considering the fact that snooze doesn't even do anything in terms of anything, I don't really care. <laughs> I really, really don't care. Speaking of which, I'm actually going to stash almost half of the items that we have. The items I want to stash, and I'm really hoping that I can be able to, um, kind of obtain some, uh, I'm trying to, excuse me, um, I want to be able to try to obtain, um, resurrection, so that way I can actually get rid of the resurrection stuff. I more so want to get rid of it so it doesn't really consist of, um, being in my inventory forever. Also, these guys are ghost enemies. So they kind of pop in and out, but we are going to fight them because they are new enemies. Yes! And these enemies are not called Flame Skull, because that would be a very um, interesting name. They're called Lost Souls. Lost Souls. Lost Souls. Can we hit them, or are they going to move out the way? If they are, then, well, well, whatever. You know, they do a lot of damage, because I guess because they're like phantasms, so whatever. Culture guy slipped the wazoo, so magic away. And I kind of love this too because TOT, Tower of Temptation, if for people who don't know the abbreviation, that area really teaches you to not uh, not always spam magic because you will get yourself killed. But more so, half of the time, your magic won't really do a lot of damage. They're not immune, they just really have like very high defense and resilient to it. They more so have more um, resilience to the damn thing. And I keep going back to the um, healing spot because, you know, might as well. I don't want to really waste my um, the ability of anything. We should be running into... We won't run into Gadwin and Sue just yet. 
but we will be running into them soon. But I am glad that um, we have like two characters now, because it means that I don't, I, I can avoid easily. That's kind of the beauty of having um, one character, I mean, another character on your team. Because you don't have to worry about freaking enemies bombarding you and stuff. But when you have four, then, you, know, you kind of have to... This is a rock. Hmm. We want to push this rock this way. And let's follow it. And that's it. It's okay. Ah, here they come. Look, Sue, Justin, and Fina over there. Yes, they are. We finally found them. Hey, you guys managed to make it. Cool. You came for us. It's only fitting. We can't let you two be sacrificed, can we, Gatwin? Yes, at any rate, if we defeat the Fire Dragon at the summit, everything should be resolved. Great, then let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's go kill the crap out of a goddamn dragon because our adventures are screwed up in so many ways. Like, seriously, like, how the hell do you... I'm also going the wrong way. You're supposed to go in the direction where the dragon is located. You're not supposed to go... I mean, there are a lot of treasures here. There are. But we already should be prepared for the dragon. Like, we really shouldn't be under level for this um, area. Not to my knowledge. I could be completely wrong, and the fire dragon can pretty much kick our butt. Ooh, magma men. Too bad they're not... No, was there a mag yeah, there no, is there a Magma Man and Mega Man? I'm not entirely sure, I don't even remember. Either that or you just don't care. No, I just don't remember, what the hell. Luckily enough, Sue will get some very mileage of being useful by using her hail bow, which does a lot of damage, 228. Sure that these guys are weak to ice. Well, you are in a fire area after all. And if I manage to level up um, Justin's wind move, I can be able to get him to learn crackle as well. <laughs> and then we all can crack ourselves up. I'm a card. <laughs> oh man, I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I'm in, I, I don't know why I'm having such more enjoyment all of a sudden. Ooh, right, wind level up again. Good, maybe we can now go ahead and um, get your water and your wind move up to 99. Ha! I'm not doing that. The only way I, the only way I could probably do that is if I spend amounts of time grinding and then you guys don't see it. And then I'll shoot myself in the head and then realize that I'm dumb in trying to do that. I'll tell you guys what the move is once um, situations happen. When I learn the other move, I'll tell you guys what the move is called. But till then, and that, that, no. Maybe I will try to go after it. Maybe just once. For just, just this LP sake. It's bad enough already I'm going after the goddamn TOT and the Castle of Dreams and the Soldier Graveyard, which are the three which are the three major dungeons that you have to do to, you know, become ultra powerful. You don't have to do it. Like, the game doesn't force you to do it. It really, really doesn't. But if you want to have a much easier way of beating the final boss, I recommend doing it. Usually, it, it, it's go by RPG. Well, here's the thing. It's a lot better of how Final Fantasy VII does it, where it says, hey, if you beat the Emerald and Ruby weapon, you want to know what the items you get? You get a bunch of items that is completely useless. Yeah, because that made total sense. Like, really? Like, uh, I'm sorry, like the reward for um, beating, oh wow, I was actually max, wow, that's, uh, that's actually pretty good, sheesh, Fina's maxing out her, she's maxing out both wind, she's maxing out her basic spells very early, which is weird, considering I never had that on her before, I never made her um, max out those abilities at all, Gawain, how the hell did you miss, it didn't even move, you suck, and second me. But yeah, it's um, it's pretty odd. And the thing is, Crackle won't really go up in terms of stars unless you end up leveling up both water and wind at the same time. That's why it's kind of always like recommended to use Crackle to be able to level up both water and um, wind at the same time. Normally, people won't really do that. They will try to just level up one over the other. But, if you want them to level up all at the same time, it's recommended. So, yeah. 
That's kind of why I'm gonna now try to spam snooze because as you see here crackle is now two It would have been one if howl didn't really go up a much of a level, but it sucks now because um I'm still gonna use howl since this hits multiple enemies compared to um Crackle which only hits one there is an all an aoe snow ability well i want to i just want to call it ice but trying to find that is a bit of a pain it's not really much of a pain it's just yeah whatever and don't worry about your spells being maxed you will still level them up regardless it's actually kind of sad that i'm more so leveling up the spells more so than my weapons but the thing is i know that i'm gonna have the capabilities of maxing these out without any problems and another issue with Gadwin is the fact that if you cause him to try to go all the way around in enemies, he will be very dumb and not really be able to hit the enemy and then he will lose his turn because he's slow. That's the only problem with Gadwin I have because his AI is not smart in the slightest and they're about to hit Sue. Which is actually a good thing because I kind of want them to hit Sue. Yeah, thank you. Now, um, hit Gadwin. Or you guys can just do nothing. That always works too, I guess. Yeah, hey, Sue cannot take a hit. Not bad, eh? She can't take a hit, guys. She takes one hit compared to everybody else where their defense is like incredibly awesome. Sue takes a hit. She goes down like a football player. Which I know a lot of people are angry because they all lost a lot of money because you guys are trying to go ahead and battle and stuff most people are trying to speculate that something really happened during that moment but i wouldn't really know i'm not really uh i can't get into sports more so because i never played it but i try i really do ignore that all right now that the sirens are gone we don't want to get hit by this steam the steam can okay or the steam could just hurt us anyways that always works too Hey, we made it to the Volcano Kratar. Let me wrap to the boss now. Uh, we're about to find out in three, two, no. All right, cool. But we're getting closer, though. Huh, it's giving you guys a slow as balls. Uh, hmm. Jump. Jump. What are you guys hiding over here? All right. That was a, that was a thing. Right, let's see what we got. Dragon scale prevents damage below 10. Uh, how is that useful, if I may ask? Considering the fact that the only enemies that could probably go over 10 is Sue's, since her defense is not good. But still, how's that good? As I stated before, Sue can't take a hit because she is almost. Oh, God! Ignore the money. Because you will end up getting caught twice if you end up trying to go after the money. Because your little bit of invisibility friends will disappear and then they will attack you. And that's not good. So apparently the hounds, the hot dogs, have like the capability of hitting all your party members if you're not careful. But that seems to be a natural theme and move away. We're not going to fight all these enemies because we're about to get to boss, guys. Are you guys ready? No, oh, I wonder who the boss is going to be. Well, you guys didn't already know. Right? Come on. The game game already told us who the hell the boss is. Goddamn dragon. Alright, cutting my save as usual. Alright. Now it's time to face against the fire dragon. Who does not get recolored, I swear. Oh, hello. Is it because of that fellow over there? Justin, it looks like the fire dragon that causes Gumbo to suffer. Hey, look. I'm not, e I'm not so easily sacrificed. Justin, don't be caught off guard. Look, it's coming this way. By standing all the way over there. Huh, <sighs> whatever. Introducing the Fire Dragon. Half of these enemies don't really move. Well, it's called the Mad Dragon. Well, that's not really much of an interesting name. I kind of prefer Fire Dragon better. Can you change your name, please? He will cast House Slash, and of course, he has two body parts. And we already know anytime a boss has two body parts, that means both of their body parts, their heads, and their body is both one of the same. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to cast Runner and increase our speed. Please. Not Gatwin. Gatwin will be fine. Gatwin's going to be our main go-to man boy. Or go ahead and take all those hits. But us, no, we're going to we're gonna be the people to spam 
our wonderful crackle on this douchebag because well we can't we can't have him doing crap like seriously we really can't so yeah let's make sure that he does not get any damage out crackle is probably not going to cancel him i'm banking on it canceling him it probably won't but if it doesn't eh, oh, oh well all right good it canceled him okay that actually makes me happy now it's good that crackle actually does cancel him out too <laughs> yeah, what now, you stupid dragon bastard? <laughs> He's gonna kill us if he hit me. <laughs> if he hits me. Let's keep raising up them speeds, guys. We must keep being fast, even though Runner's not really protecting us. And I don't think me casting friggin' dumb defense thing is gonna really help me all that much. I mean, it's a goddamn dragon. What the hell are you expecting? Frame Breath is, a. Uh, is a frontal colonel attack more so it's a straight line attack so it can damage your characters if they're all in a straight line but to be perfectly honest it seems that he's not really getting much out but you know just to be sure we don't want anything to come out so right dragon slap or whatever you call it <laughs> we're gonna keep hitting you until you don't have night no friggin moves to be able to attack Ah, let me attack already! Why are you being douchebags? Because you bosses are douchebags to us! Now you know how it feels, doesn't it? Ah, you're cheating! No, it's not cheating. It's called strategy! And it's a very oh, bullshit one at that. <laughs> ah, man, I love this. Yeah, it's probably not gonna work from, uh, from here on out, though. Or if Oh, no, it, it probably will, considering the fact he keeps... Every time we do crackle to him, he keeps getting pushed back. That's kind of sad. I almost feel sorry for him. Almost? Uh, I, didn't say I, feel, I didn't say I feel completely sorry for him. I should let him attack to show his skills, but... Oh, never mind. He's gonna, oh, hey, he's going to attack for once. Ah! God damn! Really? Huh. I wasn't expecting that to do that much damage. Well, for Sue, I always expect her to get hit more. I mean, it always seems to happen to her. It's Sue. Sue can't really take any hits at all. She's, she's like, she's, she, you want to know what she is? She's like a tank from Final Fantasy XIV, where the tank is so squishy that it probably dies in like three hits. A tank who's not trying, apparently. But other than that, though, uh, I want to say this probably was my own fault for doing that, but eh, it's whatever. Just cast Hailstorm again. It's just that it just means that um, if it happens again, Sue might die. But I'm not too worried about Sue dying, to be honest. You guys are probably saying I'm very cruel. No, I'm not. I'm not very cruel. I'm being legitimately serious. I'm not having much concerns for Sue, only because you know, I know that she can. I know that she can take hits. Uh, <laughs> flame breath. I don't think so, my dear friend. How about some flying dragon slap? Hmm. Flying dragon slap. And how about some crackle just to. Just for good measures. Hopefully this cancels you out. Or hopefully it kills you. Uh, whatever comes first, I guess. Please die. Goodbye, you stupid dragon from hell. That was pretty. Wow, I am doing so much better in my second and my first playthrough. And the thing is, I don't really think that was over leveled in this area too. It's just that I had crackle. Note to self, that fight is a lot harder if you don't have Crackle. Because if you have Crackle, he's pathetically easy, as you saw there. Now it's just an infinite, don't have to be sacrificed. Woo! What's that glittering? Uh, what are you talking about? Wow, that's not that glad. What's glittering? Ooh, look! It's the fireflies. These are the same things we saw in the Typhoon Tower. Really? I don't think these are the same thing. I think this is the volcano. The, the volcano has come back to life, and it will start erupting right away. Nice, this is the crater here. If we erupt, we'll be sacrificed. 
No more like sacra fried. No time for word games. If we don't get out quickly, we'll be toast. Yeah, let's get the hell up out of here. Run away! I love how the game just like resets the camera. I don't know why it does that. Uh, that's very odd. Take me out of the game, you know? Uh, Fina, you learned something. What'd you learn? Uh, what'd you learn? All right, you learn all heal. Thank God. That actually makes me happy. Uh, let's get the hell up out of here. Wait, are we really supposed to go backwards? Game? As always, I always question why this game really just does not like to just warp us out of these places. I never really understand it. It's the very stupidest, worst gameplay choice of my life. I'm not sure if Grandia 2 and Extreme and 3 even follow suit on that. It probably doesn't. I hope to God it doesn't because that's a very terrible mechanic. It's not even a mechanic. It's a terrible gimmick, but oh well, this is actually the reason. Oh, the volcano's erupting. Oh, that's not good. As the volcano come to life again, we had better hurry to the base. Let's go, Justin. Yes, Gawain. Run, everybody! Oh, thank God. They really are going to jump cut. I'm about to say. Can I ask a question? What the hell is the point of sacrificing people to the damn dragon? What? To make it happy? That's kind of dumb. And we're back. Ah, uh, boy. Alright, I'm actually going to end the part here. In the next episode, a lot of events is going to happen. So I've been CCX, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya! And remember, if you get sacrificed by dragon, be sure to come with some ice abilities. Because remember, all dragons are weak to ice by Pokemon logic. CCX, over and out. See ya!